Rodon Messaging Tutorial. This tutorial talks you through all of the functionalities of the messaging system within T Rodon. Messaging allows you to send and receive simple text messages or more complex messages with file attachments. Messages can be sent to individuals and to groups. Once you have logged in, select the messaging plugin. This is the envelope icon located at the top. When the messaging plugin is selected, you will see a contact list on the right hand side. In this list, you can select a talk group, individual user or use the search bar to find the contact you want to message. Enter your message in the type message box at the bottom. To add an attachment to the message, select the paperclip icon. This will open your documents folder so you can attach a document or an image. To send to multiple users or talk groups at once, select multiple send. This will open a window in which you can select what users you want your message to go to. Type the message in the box and select send. Status messaging. To send a status message, select the envelope at the bottom of the message typing box. Select the status message you require and click send. Status messages are set within the system. They allow you to quickly send a predefined message. For example, shift started, on lunch break or shift ended. Select the menu bar, then select Recent. This is where all of your messages are displayed. Sending a message is the same as on the dispatcher. Type your message in the box that says Type Message. You can also add an attachment or create a status message. To view your messages received, go to the menu, then Recent. Select the new message to open it. At the top of the message, there is an envelope with a tick on it. If you select this, it will mark the message as read. If you select any of the text received, the icons at the top will change. It will now display icons which allow you to copy and to paste text. This tutorial has demonstrated how to operate the messaging plugin. For more advanced features, Refer to our other online tutorials at www.support.g6-global.com.